Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today, guys, I'm going to be working on a queen knife. It's got stag handles and it's missing a shield. So I'm going to shoot my 9mm 43X, take the empty cartridge, cut it down, and make a shield out of it. It's going to be a beautiful knife when I'm done. That's going to be it right there. It's going to look good. The knife I'm referring to is this queen right here, sent in by Stephen, all the way from Nebraska. How about that? It's gonna be a beautiful knife. I can't wait to show my buddy Wade, because he loves queen. So that's why I wanna hurry up and get this done, because we're meeting down at uh, Tri-County Seafood this Wednesday. It's gonna be a good crowd again. We're gonna be talking about some knives and showing some knives that we found here in the past few weeks. It's gonna be fun. Okay, the first thing we got to do, we got to cut this down. Cut it in that little groove right there. Then we got to place it on here, but you see it, it almost fits perfectly. Might have to grind a little bit down, sand it down ever so slightly where to fit in that hole real good. It almost fits in there now. It needs to just be sanded just lightly. Man, it's going to look good. Gonna look real good. All right, this is gonna be a fun project, y'all. It really is. Now I'm going to sand it down. Okay guys, what we got here is the end of a nine millimeter cartridge where the primer went off, right? It exploded the powder to send the round down range. So we're gonna make the blazer, the top nine millimeter Luger on the bottom. We're gonna put it where people can read it. And I think that's about perfect guys. See, the bottom, you're going to be able to see because the stag has been cut out right there. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But it's all the way flush. And it's sticking up above just a little bit. I don't want to keep sanding on it, though. I think that's just right. See, you're going to see the bottom because see how that stag has been cut out right there. You're going to see the bottom regardless. Mm-hmm. I think that's just going to be just right. What I'm going to do is I'm fixing to glue this and let it sit for a few hours. And come back and clean it up. Ain't that going to look good though? Especially when it's shined up. That brass is going to shine. Hoorah. Love that. Alright. Now we got a bone is porous so... We but the metal is not, so we're going to have to dampen this a little bit. I'm going to go over and dip it in water.
It's on there now. Try to get some of this head to pull off. It's about as straight as you can get it. Mm -hmm. Some glue that went down here. Just like so. Let that sit for a few hours. Time on deck right now is about eight after five. Y'all like my solar powered Seiko? It's beautiful, isn't it? We're gonna let this sit for about two hours. We're gonna go get something to eat. When I come back, we're gonna clean it up. It's gonna shine like new money. Okay, guys, it has almost been exactly three hours. So it ought to be good to go now. Have to clean that up a little bit. But that turned out just right, didn't it? I love that. Now we got to clean the knife up. Hoorah. We're going to take it over in that uh, fiber wheel. And we're going to polish these bolsters up. It's going to look good. This knife's going to look so good when I'm done with it. Man, it's going to look good. Also got to work on... See how... Whoever had it. They, grind, they put it on a grinder. So we're going to try to straighten that up with my... Uh, sander. We're going to give it a new edge. Yeah, we're going to try to work on that edge right there. It's going to be a beautiful knife. Lock blade. How about that? It's going to look so good, y'all. It's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna give it cleaning with never to start with. Shouldn't see it shine up.
Okay, guys, here it is. Queen cutlery, stag handle knife. It's a single blade, and it's a lot blade. I just love the way that nine millimeter turned out right here. See that? It's now a cartridge series. <laughs> but here it is, Queen Cutlery Company, number six, L, tool steel. There's the tang stamp right there. beautiful knife but you see somebody took a grinder and grind the edge up the blade a little bit ain't much i can do about that but i did give it a nice new edge and i honed it in with my field guided work sharp sharpener it's a beautiful beautiful knife and get these fingerprints off Ain't it beautiful though? Check that out. This is snap. <laughs> beautiful knife, guys. That fit like a glove. Really does. Love it. And Steven, thank you again, buddy, for sending this knife in. I will get you a TL29 in the mail tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday. Beautiful knife. Hey guys, I've done some research with the help of some subscribers. This is actually a 2014. It's on page 19 of the 2014 Queen Catalog, if y'all want to go look at it. But here's what it is right here. It's, this is called Aged Honey Amber Bone. It's a beautiful bone. And it's called a Teardrop Liner Lock, pattern number 06L. That's pretty cool, ain't it? And this is what the shield used to look like. It's got that little cue with the blade coming through it pretty awesome this is what it looks like now <laughs> it's beautiful ain't that a beautiful knife i wish queen wouldn't have closed their doors i did not appreciate them at the time but now i go back and look at them catalogs i think they go through all the way through 2017 you can go through them catalogs and just look and it's beautiful beautiful knives i wish i'd have appreciated them more about 10 years ago well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. You just don't know how much I enjoyed doing this right here. This is a beautiful knife. And I just want to thank Stephen again for sending it in. And again, Stephen, I will get that TL29 in the mail tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday. Um, I've got some things I got to do tomorrow, but I just love that stag handle right here. This is this was so much fun. Just love doing that. Uh, anyway, guys, I just want to remind y'all about the auction coming up. May the 7th at 7 p.m. That's a Tuesday. That's a week from this coming Tuesday. So I'll be putting some uh, knives and other items up on uh, whatnot this week. I'm going to create the show. So be, be on the lookout for it. I'll be sharing the link with you in the video descriptions coming up this week. Uh, but I hope to uh, pass what we did last month. So we sent uh, $2,228 to... Uh, Thomas the Towers, and I hope to either tie it or beat it for You Are a Gift Foundation. And again, You Are a Gift helps mothers addicted to prescription drugs. So I think that's a great thing. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all. And tune in again, guys.